Number 67. The chlorofluorocarbon CCl2F2 can be recycled into a different compound by reaction with hydrogen to produce CH2F2 gas, a compound useful in chemical manufacturing. And then they give us this equation right here. Now for letter A, it says outline the steps necessary to answer the following question. What volume of hydrogen at 225 atm and 35.5 degrees Celsius would be required to react with one ton and that's 1.00 times 10 to the third kilogram of CCL2F2. And then obviously B, we have to answer the question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gonna walk you through how to answer this question. And by doing that, you know, you'll figure out the actual necessary steps to figure out the question. Okay, so the first thing is, is that they give us a balanced equation. So I'm gonna have to write it, right? I'm just gonna write this a little bit bigger just so that we have to work with it. Usually when they give us an equation, we have to use it. So CCL2F2, and who cares about the states though, honestly, right? Not, not equilibrium chapter, so we don't care. So CCL2F2 plus 4H2 will yield CH2F2, and then plus two HCLs. Now you could always pause the video just to make sure that this is balanced, but since I already see coefficients in front of some of the compounds, I'm going to assume that it's balanced. So now let's just read it again, just to make sure that we have all the information. So it said, what volume of hydrogen? So we're looking for the volume of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the H2. Remember hydrogen is a diatomic, right? Hydrogen always exists as H2, never by itself. So we're looking for the volume of H2. And they tell us a little bit more information about this one. They said, what's the volume of H2 at this type of pressure, right? ATM value is a pressure and this volume goes with this pressure, right? What volume at this? So these two link up. So for H2, I know that I have a pressure of 225 ATM. And also this is at a certain temperature, right? Degree Celsius, it's a temperature. So I have a T value and that's 35.5 degrees Celsius. And then they said that this is going to be required to react with one ton, AKA 1.000 times 10 to the third kilograms of CCL2F2, which is right here. So I know some information about this one, right? Now, usually we, we work in the metric unit, so who cares about that it's one ton? I'm just going to say that this is 1.000 times 10 to the negative third kilograms. All right, so it looks like we have more information about H2, and specifically the question is asking for the volume, right? So I'm gonna run through my pressure formulas that I know to see uh, what formula to use. We only have one volume, one pressure, one temperature, right? So, and we're looking for a volume. So we're going to use the ideal gas law, which is this one, right? PV equals NRT. And maybe I'll just put this over here, right? Here's our lovely little formula, PV equals NRT. Now remember, all the units are locked into that R value. The R is 0 0.0821, and the units for the R value is ATM times liter, divided by mole times Kelvin. So the pressure, volume, moles, and the temp all have to abide by these units. So the pressure has to be an ATM. And thank goodness, they give us the pressure in ATM. So we know this number. The volume is what we're looking for. So if I'm looking for the volume, I should know all the other components. So that means I should know N, R, and T. Well, we do know the R value. It's always going to be that standard number. The temperature is always going to be in Kelvin. So it seems like in the gas chapter, they're always going to give you Celsius and somehow you always have to convert to Kelvin. But we know how to do that, right? Converting to Kelvin, all we have to do is just plus 273. You could be more exact than plus 273.15, but I think 273 is good enough. So 35.5 plus 273, we get 308.5. Okay, so I have a temperature. 
So now remember, we still want to solve for that volume. So I need to know what the n value is. And n is the moles. Now this you have to be specific. If you're looking for the volume of H2 at the pressure of H2 with its corresponding temperature, the moles that you're trying to solve for has to link up. So if you're solving for the volume of H2, the moles has to also be of H2. But did they give us the mole value for H2? No, right? And moles equals N, which equals question mark. We don't know that. How are we going to get the moles? Oh, that's why they gave us information from here. We're going all the way back to the stoichiometry chapter, right? In which we go from one compound to another, right? In this case, I could take my kilograms of the CCL2F2 and convert it into moles of H2. So this is kind of like a refresher. Now, the first thing that we have to do is convert the kilograms into grams. Now, before I do that, I just realized that it's times 10 to the third and not to the negative three. So I'm just going to change that up. Hopefully you guys caught that, but I catch that. There we go. So let's see. Remember, kilograms to grams, all we have to do is just times by 1,000. That's like the quick, the quick can version, right? So if I just pull this gram over here, I have 1 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the third times 1,000. So that's basically 1 times 10 to the sixth. So 1.000 times 10 to the sixth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Yep, there you go. I just want to have it in the calci just so I'm ready to go for the next calculations. Okay, so I'm going to convert the 1 times 10 to the 6 grams of CCL2F2 into the moles of H2. So let's see, 1.000 times 10 to the 6th, and that's grams of CCL2F2. And I want to convert into moles of H2. Now remember, in order to go from one compound to another, I need to go through the unit of moles. But in here, I have grams. So the whole thing is that we have to first get to moles of the CCL2, F2, and then I can finally convert into this. If you guys need a refresher, you could always go back to, I think it was chapter four in the chemistry e-textbook. There's a whole playlist on it. If you guys need a refresher, I'm there for you guys. But this is just going back to that chapter. So let's, let's get started. 1.00, 1.000 times 10 to the sixth, and that's now grams of CCL2F2. Dimensional analysis times by the ratio, we're just converting, right? Throw the unit you don't want on the bottom. So grams of CCL2F2 on the bottom and the moles of CCL2F2 on the top. If we're doing a gram to mole conversion, right? Grams to moles of the same compound, that's always the periodic table. So periodic table's out. And remember, if you're using the periodic table, it's always one mole equals whatever the mass is. So let's see, 12.01 plus 2 times 35.45 plus 2 times 19. So I get 120.91. Cancel out those units. We're not at moles of H2 yet. We still want to go here. So I'm just going to keep going with it. And let's see, now I'm going to put moles of CCL2F2 on the bottom. And now the moles of the H2 go on the top. Now remember, if you're doing a mole-to-mole -mole conversion of different compounds, that's the balanced equation. And that's just using your coefficients. You're basically just going to find these on your balanced equation and just see how many are in front as the coefficients. So for example, I see that I have a 4 in front of the H2. So for how many moles of H2 I have, I have 4 of them. For every, go to the CCL2F2, and there was no number here. But that just means that there was one of them. So for every four moles of H2, I need one mole of CCL2F2. Cancel that out. And now I come to my answer of how many moles of H2 I have. So 1 times 10 to the 6 times 4 divided by 120.91.
And I'm not gonna round here because this is not the final answer. So I'll just say 3, 000, 32, uh, 33,082. And then I guess we'll cut it off there. That's pretty big. Maybe I'll just say 0.5 moles of H2. So try not to round as much in your intermediate steps. So now we know over here that we have 33,082.5 moles. Whoa. But now we're ready. We have the mole value. We're solving for V, so we're good. So maybe I'll put like a little box over here. Let's see. Working from left to right, PV equals NRT. The pressure they told me was 225. And since I already checked my units, I don't have to put them in anymore. The volume is what I'm searching for, so I'm just going to label that as X, equals the moles which I just found, 33,082.5, times by the R value, 0 0.0821, and then times by the temp in Kelvin, so that's 308.5. We want to solve for X, so it seems like I'm just going to divide by 225 on both sides. So 225, 225, this cancels out, right? And now I have X equals whatever that is. So 33082.5 times 0.0821 times 308.5, all divided by 225, divided by 225, and now it looks like I need three sig figs. The lowest was three sig figs in the numbers that they gave me. So I'm just going to put this in scientific notation. 3.72 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, to the third. And remember, since the R value had the unit liters, this volume is going to be in liters. So that's the volume of the H2. A lot of liters here. So... Basically 3,720 liters. Whoa. But there you go, guys. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 15,000 subs, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.